everyone, my name is Lindsay. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today I would like to share a Bible passage that has been really impactful in my life this week. And um, I'll tell you why in a minute, but let's first of all just uh, read through this passage. So it is in Matthew chapter 5 verses 21 to 24. I'll read that out and then we'll unpack it and um, yeah, away we go. So this is where Jesus is speaking. Um, he's doing the Sermon on the Mount. <clears throat> so with the Beatitudes and with a variety of other things that he says. Um, and this is somewhere in the middle of it all. He says, You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not murder. And whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. But I say to you, That whoever is angry with his brother without a cause Shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council, but whoever says you fool shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Okay, so that's the passage. Um, while I was in the middle of some big emotions this week, um, this passage jumped to mind. I was, um, I was, so recently I've been experiencing some struggles, um, and I was chatting with a mentor of mine about some of the things that I was coming up against, um, and some of the, the issues in my own character, um, and issues in the way that I was dealing with certain situations, um, regarding other people. And, um, this mentor of mine, asked a very specific question and he was like, how do you go or how have you gone in the past with this particular area? And so that it was an excellent question. Um, and it made me really sit and think and pray for the next couple of days and really wrestle with some of my own humanness. Um, and yeah, I really saw God's grace in the middle of it all, but also <laughs> a big need for me to grow and to be humble and, um, yeah, really deal with some of my own issues head on. Um, and as I was processing all of these, these big things that I was going through in my mind, um, my mum called and she called and she said, Hey Lindsay, I've been praying and I've been impressed to say something to you. You're not going to like it, but I really think you need to deal with an issue regarding another person. Um, that's been ongoing for you for a while now. And I was not happy to hear that at all. I, <laughs> I crossed my arms and I was all grumpy and everything. Um, and my mum knew it was probably wiser just to end the conversation there. And, um, so we said goodbye <clears throat> and I immediately was like, okay, God, like, what do you want to tell me about this? Like, what is there? that I need to pray through about this situation. Cause I trust my mum hears from God enough um, to say something like that. She, she knows it's not wise of her own strength to say something along those lines to me. Um, so I knew it was God actually prompting her to, to bring this up for me in the middle of processing other things. Um, I'm being vague um, about who and what just to protect identities and, and uh, keep this nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, so I started praying and as I was praying with the context of the issue that I was processing beforehand in mind that this mentor of mine brought up to me the previous day, um, thinking about a very specific person and a very specific issue that I'd been experiencing for a while, um, in the, yeah, in this context, memories from like 10 years ago started flooding back to me and, and the Holy Spirit was showing me that a, an issue that I had with someone was not entirely their fault, in fact. Um, and it was actually quite a fair bit my own problem that I had created. Um, and I'd never seen it in that light before. Um, and so an issue where I felt like I had never received an apology from this person or um, there were just things that weren't dealt with in a way that I felt closure with. I now saw that I was the one who needed to apologize and that I was in the wrong and that I had very much contributed, if not created the issue. Um, and that was a very humbling moment for me. Um, and I was like, oh, 
I know that the right thing to do here is to get in touch with this person and to apologize and make things right, but part of me was like, I don't want to do that. Um, and I prayed about it. I was like, God, do you want me to contact this person? And immediately this passage that we just read through a moment ago came to mind. Um, and it, where it says in verse 23 and 24, therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. For me, the way that I read that in this context is when it says your gift, bringing your gift to the altar, I'm seeing when you are worshipping God in any way, if in the middle of your worship, whether you're singing, whether you're reading the Bible or praying or whatever it is that you're doing, and it comes to mind, the Holy Spirit impresses you that, hey, there's actually an issue that is left unresolved now. Um, once that comes to your mind, it's in your conscience, it's actually... It's required of you. God is saying, don't keep worshipping me in this moment until you've dealt with that problem. And so as I was praying the other day and I was thinking through this and I was being humbled and, and realizing my own sin and guilt in the situation, I knew that I wasn't even able to continue worship that night until I had made some sort of an effort to make reconciliation. And so I tried calling and I, I texted and, and in the end... Um, it seems like there is now reconciliation and that there is more blessing and more peace in that relationship. And as I was going through the process of crafting a text to apologize and, and to do all the things that I knew was uh, necessary and right, I was starting to feel so, so much more peace in that situation. Um, and then as I was processing that I remembered some other people I need to deal with and apologize to and I was like oh my goodness I'm not very good am I I am not this perfect Christian that I would like everyone to think that I am um yeah so I just wanted to share that with you that this is something very real that I'm experiencing right now um I don't like to share anything less than real and authentic with you guys if I can avoid it um actually to be honest I don't want to tell you guys any of this stuff but I feel like it's a burden that I have that I do need to share it because somebody's got to say it at some point. Might as well be me. Um, so I wanted to share this with you guys just in case any of you guys are experiencing interpersonal issues or something like an issue that's with like a family member or like an old friendship from years ago that you can't even really remember why you're not talking to each other anymore or um, yeah, there's some sort of breakdown in communication, in relationship, whatever. Maybe have a time with prayer with God um, and maybe see if there is anything within you, any other, um, I guess, sin or um, any patterns in your life, any, any types of behavior that maybe you contributed to that situation and maybe you need to just be humble for a moment and, and humble yourself and apologize, not expecting anything back. I wasn't expecting anything the other day. Um, and yet I received a blessing. I received peace and I received reconciliation with this person. Um, so for your own good, um, for your own salvation, because it talks about in verses, uh, in verse 22, I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother or with any person without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says you fool, if you say that person is an idiot or is less than or is, you know, you're just bringing them down, you will be in danger of hellfire. Your salvation will actually be in danger because when you are tearing someone down, whether it's to their face or behind their back or even in your own mind as you stew over that issue or you don't want to have anything to do with them and so you avoid them, all of this stuff, it's not representing God's character of love. God is love and we are his little children. So if we are to um, represent God and the love that he has, we can't be going around having issues with people that are unresolved because of our lack, lack of effort to resolve them. Um, I was really blessed in this occasion that the response was good and I didn't have like a big battle or anything. Um, like it could be with another person who is less gracious. Um, so yeah, like... I just really want to share that with you guys if this 
helps you in any way, please let me know. Please share it with a friend. Um, yeah, allow the Holy Spirit to convict you and be obedient, be humble, go reconcile. Reconciliation is so, so important. Um, and such a blessing and bring so much peace. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, I really hope it helped you and I love you guys. I'll see you again next Friday. Bye.